My name is Daniel Ribeiro, and I am doing a little bit, something a little different today. Something out of the ordinary. Because quarantine, guess what, ladies and gentlemen? Got me fucked up. <laughs> what are we doing today, Marcos? We're going to put a computer in this. This little tiny 7 liter Dan PC. You heard it here from the master himself. Welcome to the video, guys. Today, we're going to be building a fucking computer. You remember when I told you guys that I was gonna get a Mac out? Throw that shit out the window. Today, <laughs> we are building our own version of a PC. Okay, right, well, it is a PC, not our own version. It is a PC. For just for scale purposes, this is in front of my face, and this is how small it is. The reason we went with this case is because, you know, here in this household, we are all about aesthetic. It has to be clean, and it's therefore, we needed to get something small enough to please the missus, right? And so therefore we found it, and as soon as she said yes, we purchased everything. So now, we are gonna be building the computer in this video, I hope you guys do enjoy it. If you guys do, make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and let's get into it. This computer, is very difficult to find. A computer of this this case of this size is very difficult to find because making it small enough to fit an entire build is what, Marcos? It ain't easy. It ain't easy. So therefore, finding this case this is actually the only case I can find on eBay because they're sold out everywhere. I managed to find this and I overpaid for sure, but I don't care because I needed it to fit the aesthetic. Talk to the people. What do we have going on here today? What's our build about? What are we doing here? What are we going for right now? <laughs> the case is a micro ATX. We need something to fit all of those components. So we went with a micro ATX motherboard from ASRock with a AMD Ryzen third gen processor with 12 cores, SFX Corsair power supply. We have Corsair H60 to cool the beast, the Titan back here. So then we have the Samsung uh, NVMe M.2 drive, one terabyte to save some space because again, tiny case. And then low profile Corsair, 32 gigabytes worth of RAM. This is for video gaming, hence the processor, but it's also gonna be for, um, you know, Danny's YouTube videos. The one thing that we are missing here is the graphics card. I do know that it is supposedly a top of the line graphics card. So far, in our motherboard, we have the CPU, the RAM. This is very interesting. Like, guys, look how small of a space we have to work here. Like, it is tight, toy, like a toy glove. Like, so tight that if you put something in, you can't get it out. That's what she said. <laughs> I bought the smallest one. I thought it would fit. I'm gonna kill this guy. No, I'm not. All right, so part of the issue of building a very small build like this is your parts need to be ultra specific when you're inserting pieces into this computer. Case in point with our CPU cooler. Marcos, do you want to explain to the people what happened? Yeah, so I bought what I thought was the smallest CPU cooler in the market, which was a 120 millimeter radiator. What they need is a 92 millimeter and only one company that I found so far in my 15 minutes of research is Aztec. This CPU cooler does not fit on this computer. So we have now purchased a new one that is going to 100% fit. We're gonna return this one, which we purchased through Amazon, and luckily we can just drop it off at Kohl's, which is super convenient, but a little frustrating because ideally we would've finished this part and just put the graphics card when it came in, 
but it's okay, learning experience. And for those of you guys who are looking to build in a small case like this, this is gonna be a lot of trial and error and you're gonna to have to be super specific about the parts. That's something that we 100% knew going into it. So if you're building into a mini ITX, you, there's some bigger cases who have more space. This is probably one of the smallest in the market. I'm gonna just post a quick picture from a YouTube video that I saw. It's just comparison of the sizes of mini ITXs. This is literally as small as it gets. And I think there's maybe one of the cases that's as small as this. So point being, parts have to be super specific. So we will catch you guys, I guess next week, when we get everything else, like the CPU cooler and the graphics card. So we'll catch you guys in three, two, one. And we are back because we finally got our CPU cooler and we got our graphics card. And we are back with some more company, Andy Milanakis. <laughs> See, remember I said that we were back and we got the CPU cooler, we got our graphics card. Great, yay, we're gonna build a fucking computer, right? No! Marcos, why are we not building the computer? Well, we bought the right cooler this time, 92 millimeters, but unfortunately, for whatever reason, this company, you have to buy the brackets separately. I, 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 Where is the logic? Form factor computer, and you have to use Aztec. As you guys can see, you have to buy the retention kits on its own. Aside from the cooler, the frustration is real. So, what we're doing is, we are working with what we got, is what we're doing. 100%. So we're working with what we got, which is not the right fit size CPU cooler, which I'm going to show you guys right now. We're going to build everything. We're not going to cable manage it. We're not going to seal it up. We're just going to be pretty much riding dirty. And so this is what we're looking at right now. You see, this cooler that comes with the CPU does not fit whatsoever. It protrudes out of the case and therefore unusable for us right now. Our cooler that we purchased does fit, but we have no bracket. All right guys, I just finished setting up the PC. I did not test it out yet because Danny wants to go pick up some food with Andrew, some sushi. And I just wanna wait till they're here, until it boots up. But I did everything pretty perfectly. I mean, you can't imagine messing anything up. I got the power supply, the cooler, and God, oh God, this cable managing gonna be tough. Once he gets all his parts, oh man. It's hard to see everything. He knows how to use this camera. Everything looks really black, but if you can see what I see, cable management is not going to be easy. Moment of truth. I'm going to turn it on for the first time. And we have life. And we finally got stupid piece that we were missing, which is this bracket right here that is going to be replacing the CPU cooler that we are now currently removing. At this point, if we're missing anything else, I think we're both going to go slap the baby. Death is upon somebody if this doesn't work. <laughs> Literally. So hopefully we can finish this today so we can show you what the final build looks like. We're going to have to do some cable management because it is a very tight squeeze. A That's very, what very tight squeeze. That's what she said. Uh, so I'll catch you guys in a moment. Thousands of tears later. All right, so after weeks, literally weeks, of building this damn computer, we're finally finished. But I didn't quite get to show you guys what it looks like here in this room, right? This office. We talk so much about aesthetic, but what does it look like? Well, I want to show you guys real quick how this office is now starting to come together and how this computer really just kind of plays its part and kind of fulfills the vision that I had for it. But I know that there's one elephant in the room and it's how much did I really spend on this damn computer? I mean, I told you I definitely overpaid for that case. So where do we start? As I mentioned, I was going for a mini ITX computer, but I was going for something very specific and it's not something that you can normally find in the market. And so unfortunately, I definitely did overpay for a case just in general. 
The Dan A4 case is very limited and I couldn't really find it anywhere, but I did manage to find one on eBay for $300. Now, typically you can find any case for about $50, 200 depending on the quality and the size as well. But if you're going for an SFF uh, type of case, you're probably gonna pay just a little bit more. So we did pay $300 for the case. When it came down to the two Noctua fans that we have built into the computer, that was $20 total. For the CPU, the AMD Ryzen, we did pay $400 for the CPU. And for the CPU cooler, you guys saw that we did initially go with Corsair but we had to switch to the Aztec because it literally is the only thing that fits in there. It's very specific and honestly the Corsair didn't fit in there so we had to pivot find something else. So for the Aztec cooler we did pay $120 for the cooler and the brackets which was sold separately and again it's a huge headache but kind of keep that in mind if you would look to build something similar. For the NVIDIA 2070 Super Graphics card, we did pay $550. At the time of this recording, NVIDIA did release their 3000 series, and I'm definitely interested in upgrading to the 3080. I don't know that it's gonna fit, but if it does fit, and I see some reviews that show that there's some good airflow going on based off the build, I might upgrade, but as right now, we're going with the 2070 Super. For the 32 gigabytes of RAM that we have built into the computer, that was $135, and for the Corsair power supply, that was $200. Now, a grand total of $1,900. Can you build something cheaper? 100%. But I was going for something very specific and I needed to cover all my bases. But if, for those of you that are interested in following along with what I did in this specific computer, and if you wanna literally buy the same pieces that I bought because I can guarantee you that they work, Everything is linked in the description with links to each and every specific part that I bought. So if you guys did want to build a very similar computer, you guys are more than welcome to and I highly recommend it because this thing is a beast. I've played games on it, works fantastic. I've video edited it. I'm literally just kind of going back and forth from video editing to recording, video to recording, and it makes my workflow a lot easier. And I honestly could not be happier. And I actually did want to say one side note, a huge thank you to Marcos. If you're watching this dude, thank you so much. I love you, man. Like you literally like fucking blew this out the water. I have no other words. Like this thing is incredible. I'm super happy with the computer, so I can't say thank you enough. I hope you guys do enjoy the video. If you guys did, make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel. I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Every dimension, give me attention. Look at my soul, look at my heart, look at my hope. Got the world on my back, but I carry it though. Tell him God got my hand.